Okay, so we talked about the mean, and we said we'll use either x bar or mu, depending on whether it's from the sample or if it's from the population. Those are just the symbols. And then we have uh, the definition sigma x sub i over, and then we either write capital N or small n here, depending again on if it's the sample or the, or the population of the sample. Okay, so let's take some numbers like 2 and 10. Okay, so we have five numbers there, and I think it's pretty clear that the mean is 6. So that's the mean, and we saw that if you change one of the numbers, for example, you know, sometimes you're, you're recording numbers and, you, for example, you add an extra zero there. So if that happened by mistake, now we have these numbers. We call this an outlier. We call this an outlier. And uh, it's going to change the mean by a lot, right? If we, we, we take 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, so that's what? 6, 12, 20, and then plus 100 equals 120. And if we take 120 divided by 5, we get a much different number than 6. In fact, we get 24, right? Okay, so it went up by a factor of 4, actually. So, therefore, we can say that the mean is sensitive to these big numbers. To it. We, called them, we called it an outlier. So we can say the mean is sensitive to that, meaning if you have an outlier, it's going to really change things. Okay, now let's talk about it, but uh, rather the mean is called a measure of the center. It's supposed to measure the center. 10 is supposed to measure the center of that, and the mean is 6. That's kind of, in the, kind of the center. Okay, but we have other measures of the center as well, and another one is called the median. And the median is, is obtained in a different way. The median, what you do is if you have five numbers, let's change them. Say we have 1, 2, 9, 20, and 4. Okay, first of all, to get the median, you have to rearrange them in order. So we'd have to write them 1, 2, 4, 9, 20. So that's what you have to do first. Then what you do is you choose the middle number. So here there are five numbers, one, two, three, four, five. So the middle number is going to be the third number, which is here. So that will be defined to be the median. So the median is the middle number, and it's four. Now if you have an even number of numbers, here we had five numbers, which is an odd number of numbers. So if it's an even number of numbers, we do it slightly differently. But right now let's just say that it's the middle number, and it's equal to in this case, 4. Now the mean, what is the mean? If we wanted to calculate it, it might not come out very good. Well, but we would get 36. So it works, doesn't work out that well. It's 36 over 5, which is about 7.2, right? Whatever it is, it's not the same as 4, right? So the mean and the median are not the same thing. Now 7.2, we could say, is the center of this set of numbers. Or we could say that uh, 4 is the center. So the, the word center is not exactly well defined or clearly defined. So we could say that it's 4. We could say that it's 7.2. However, the word mean is clearly defined. We know exactly how to compute it. We can't say that the mean is 4. We can only say that the mean is 7.2. It's clearly defined. Okay, so the mean is clearly defined. And the median is also clearly defined, at least when we have an odd number of elements. And what happens to the median if we get an outlier? So it, the mean is obviously going to change a lot, right? When we change that 20 to 200 and then calculate the mean of that, it's going to be much bigger. But what happens to the median? Does anything happen? And the answer is no. The median doesn't change at all. So we can say that in general, the median is not sensitive to outliers. So that whereas the mean is sensitive to outliers, the median is not. Okay, so that's the idea of the median, and it's also measuring the center, and sometimes we, we might prefer to use the median.